Hey everyone, Chris Lewis from Fox 47's Digital Newsroom. Excited to have you back again today. Today I have Amy Knaus, who is the owner of Seniors Helping Seniors. Amy, thanks so much for being with us today. You're welcome. Thank you for having me. You know, to start off today, tell me a little bit about Seniors Helping Seniors, about what this organization is and what it does. So Seniors Helping Seniors um, is a franchise. Um, I, I own the location in Lansing and the surrounding areas. So we service primarily Clinton, Ingham, Ingham County, and some of the outlying surrounding counties. Uh, Seniors Helping Seniors provides in-home care to primarily elderly and disabled individuals. Um, the niche with Seniors Helping Seniors is that we also employ seniors who are the caregivers to these individuals. Um, so we provide many different services um, from companion care, like housekeeping, meal preparation, medication reminders, uh, personal care, bathing, um, toileting, transportation services are the primary services that we offer. And I'm sure with, like every business right now, your business has probably had to do some pivoting because of safety, security, and, and not only safety and security for your employees, but also for the people that you're working with. Talk to me a little bit about the, the pivots and the things that you've had to do to make those changes to be able to best serve your, your clients as well as keeping your employees safe. Absolutely. So we have had to make a lot of changes with this unprecedented um, situation that we're all in. Um, primarily, well, I've closed my office, so uh, myself and my office staff are working from home. Um, but with technology, we're able to still take incoming calls um, from existing clients and new client inquiries. Um, as far as my caregivers, my number one priority is keeping them safe along with the clients. Um, so just making sure that I'm in constant communication with them is key for me, um, setting up some guidelines for them as far as checking in with the clients before they go to their homes, making sure that they, they're asking some questions, you know, is the client feeling ill or had any symptoms of illness or um, been exposed to, to the COVID-19. And if the answer to those questions are yes, then they're obviously um, expected that they would not go. Um, and same for the caregivers, if they have any hesitation or any signs of illness themselves, they know that they're not to go to the client's home. Um, unfortunately, I have had some issues as far as getting some of the um, protective gear, such as masks, hand sanitizer, gloves. Um, I have ordered them. However, they are on a backlog, but hopefully I'll be receiving some of those items in the next week or so. Um, to hand out to my clients and uh, and caregivers. And my caregivers are wonderful people. They, you know, they're taking sanitizer, giving them to the clients if they need it, um, wearing masks if they have them, but um, just taking all of the safety precautions as much as possible is key right now. For those of us that have seniors in our lives, in this time, are there any tips that you might give to them to be able to help us to be better be able to support our seniors right now? Yes, I think uh, making sure that you're checking on your neighbors, your family members daily, you know, just checking in with them, making sure they have enough food, medication, um, and all of their essential needs met. Um, and if not, you know, there's a lot of different services out there as far as grocery delivery and pickup. Um, a lot of my caregivers are, are getting groceries for our clients without actually having to go into the grocery store, dropping them off on their porch um, so that they are not making physical contact with the clients. Um, you know, along with there's some services out there. There's a service through the state of Michigan where the seniors can sign up for meal delivery, daily wellness checks. So, you know, just making sure that the, the seniors in your lives 
have what they need and that you are checking in on them regularly is key. Now, if people want to know more about seniors helping seniors or get involved with you in any way, where can they go to get more information? You can call our office number, which is 517-332-9953. We're also on Facebook um, and our website is seniorcarelancingmi.com.